welcome back to the channel everyone we are here with our daughters this is my daughter Alyssa Hello. this is my daughter Lauren What's up? <laughs> and we're excited we're about ready to go on this adventure uh, take them on a ride for a couple days we're here in Moore Park California at the Cactus Patch we are going to head up to Cambria today we're gonna do a three-day two-night overstay it's gonna be wonderful I'm so excited aren't you I'm really excited looking forward to this I can't wait they're gonna do what their mothers do all the time and they love it so I think these guys are gonna love it too and the cool thing is I remember when she was a year old I would ride her on my bicycle, so here we go again, round two. And right. what did you say about the bike being on the back? It's like a giant four-wheeler. It's my first time riding, and it'll be fun to see how it goes. <laughs> Are you looking forward to it? Looking forward to it. Let's go. really fantastic I mean this is the first time we're on a trip with our daughters we're taking them some beautiful places in California and and they're gonna have a good time it's almost like it, it kind of reminds me of having our wives with us though yeah I'm not so sure it reminds me of having our wives with us but yeah it's gonna be a great trip and man can't wait to get up into Los Olivos we'll stop at Saralus hang out Look off to the right. Looks like some paratroopers just got out of the plane up there. Oh, Pretty yeah. cool. They're they're having a good time and what a view they have up there. But you know, we're showing our daughters what a road trip's all about. I mean, food, uh, hotel, travel, sites, it's gonna be a pretty cool thing. Hey, let's have some fun with the girls. Uh, let's take them up to Nitwit Ridge and tell them that's a hotel we're staying at. <laughs> yeah, and we got rooms at the fog catcher in that'll be kind of neat to be on the beach yeah they're actually gonna love being on the beach we can walk down there in the morning as well we're gonna have some great restaurant food there gonna be wonderful yeah it'll be great so hey we're warming up a little bit here because we're going inland but once we get out onto the coastal area it'll cool back down and hey the adventure is just beginning well let's get down to Sarlus and Sons and check it out down the road because I don't have to do the driving. Yep. I feel like that's all I do is chauffeur people around, so it's nice to just relax and, you know, take in the view. We don't do leg day it. before you're sitting <laughs> on the back of a bike. It was cool. It's definitely a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. You're flying through. Got to see some cool things so far. Yeah, it's pretty, isn't it? Yeah. And the smells. The citrus trees. Oh, and it doesn't hurt to have a glass of wine <laughs> at Sarlouz. We could stop at our favorite Sarlouz and Sun. So yeah, we're here at Sarlouz and Sons. Our buddy Keith, who owns it, he's a he's a great farmer. Cattle, grapes, everything. He pinned a spot where he's at. He's actually preparing the fields for this uh, heat wave that's about to happen, the vines. And so he said, "Come on out, and we'll show you around." So we're gonna head there next. I mean, we're we're going into summer now, and it is gonna start warming up, and we're starting to feel it right now. This morning, it's kind of warm, but hey, we're gonna get to the coast, and it won't be that. Warm. So we are here with our good friend Keith Sarlouz at his winery, and it's really neat. We're here on motorcycles. We love motorcycles, and that's how we met Keith. When Lance went to Sturgis his first time, my son, he went with Keith, and they became good friends, and now here we are on his property. And we came up to get a glass of wine for the, the ladies here, and I said, Keith, we're going to come by, and he's like, okay. So we stopped at the house, and he drops a pin, and I realize he's out in the field. Yeah. <laughs> this is so where I live. So what are you doing? Uh, so what we're doing today is 
we're in a really, really neat area. Uh, this is called uh, Ballard Canyon. This is the Sarlson Sons Vineyard. Uh, my dad and I planted it about 25 years ago, and right now we're standing in the middle of the Syrah. And if you look at all the vines that are growing, we're in the very first stages of growing wine. So we don't grow grapes here, we actually grow wine, um, or grapes that not really become wine, but the whole point and passion of what we do is the, is the bottle we're gonna put it into. So everything is in pursuit, if you will, of growing the best possible product. So right now you can see it's green, beautiful hills, and we are turning it back into this by reintroducing all of our biomass. And that's why I've been on the back of that tractor rototilling. And, and just like you know, I said to you, a, a clean bike is a fast bike. And what we wanna do here is make sure that there's nothing, no, nothing overgrown, overburdened, that the vines have nothing to compete with. Um, and everything looks clean so that when you walk by it, you know, if you have a really clean bike and somebody dings it or you see a scratch on it, your eye goes directly to it. We have that same mentality here. It's perfect or something's really bad. And even if there's a little scratch, you've got to address it, fix it, and bring it back to perfect. Well, it's almost 80 degrees. Yeah. And the, the ladies, the girls had a glass of your 16 down at yeah. the... My daughter Man, makes that. That was great. She was Perfect. 16 yeah. when she made it. Yeah. I got her into college. <laughs> I'm really proud of her. Wow, you know, and we're here with our daughter. So, Keith, you've gone to Sturgis at least 10 times. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he rides. He's a great rider and a great farmer. I'm a better farmer than rider. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah. But well, you know what? Riding with, like, your son and everybody we've traveled with, I mean, seeing what you guys do all the time, and, and even the guys, the, the coffee shop I go to every morning, his name's Mason, he follows you guys, wow. right? And and it's been so exciting to me. Most of like riding a motorcycle has become this like angry butch, like I, I have more skulls on me than you and like <laughs> look at my tattoos and all that kind of bullshit. <laughs> but in truth of it is, you know, when you say go to Sturgis, like Sturgis is the circus at the end of it, mm -hmm. but the distance between home and there yep. and the people you're with, like like your son and, and us sharing a room, I got to know him really, really well. And we had such a great time and I have a friend for life. And you guys bring such a, it, you know, do you want to have fun or do you want to be cool? And I think the, the have fun part that you guys bring to so many people and bringing your daughters out here and share across is such a, a breath of fresh air to a community that is a bunch of fake tough guys. You know, it's like usually the toughest guy in the room is the one that doesn't want to fight. You know? <laughs> and so I just want to say it's it's fun to follow along with you guys. <laughs> well, here we are, three fathers. We have a lot of stuff in common. We have our daughters. Wish your daughter was here so oh, we yeah. could, you know, go Next with time. us. Next time. I know. Yeah. <laughs> she actually, she was, she she'd be the first person to go, how far and how fast are we going? <laughs> yes. So check out Sarlis and Son, and we're going to head up north, and we're going to have lunch and do some what? Yeah, a lot of fun riding, right? Oh, I guess. All right. <laughs> if we have to. Explore the Central to. Coast. <laughs> See, See you down Great morning of riding, and we're sitting here. We got lunch, we're hungry, and I got this crazy garlic egg drop soup. Can't wait to taste it. Well, Josh and I got ours early, and it is bomb, but our breath is gonna sting. <laughs> that egg makes it. Alyssa and I got uh, some turkey sandwiches. Yum, yum, cut in half. Can't wait to dig in. Holy shit, it's spicy. <laughs> So uh, what a good lunch, and uh, that was the town of Los Alamos. Have you ever been there before, Galen? I have not. Well, yeah, I've been there. Uh, we actually came up a couple times to the Live Fast Rally. I text Keith to say, hey, is there anywhere good to eat in Los Alamos? And he's like, Plenty. Ha, ha, ha. He said, no, that's the name of the restaurant, Plenty, and he pinned it. So good choice. Check them out. Really good food. Yeah, I had a nice lunch there. I mean, in... Uh Lauren and Alyssa are having a good time so far. We got a little ways to go to Cambria, but we're taking the back road now and we're gonna just check out what's on this side of the mountain. Yeah, I don't think we've really ever come back this way. Uh, Keith was also recommending this ride. We're on the 135, the California 135, and we're gonna be in some farmlands. Uh, we'll work our way towards the ocean. 
It is closed just south of Pismo, so we'll have to cut back over to the 101. But we've only got about 70 miles left. Easy peasy. Uh, it was kind of fun there at lunch talking with the girls. Their butts are a little bit sore. <laughs> uh, and, you know, Teresa, like, she called. I was talking to her on the phone and she's like, she said her butt's sore. What seat are you running? And I said, your seat. She goes, ha. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Teresa and Laura definitely have seasoned butts. Well, let's work our way up to uh, Pismo, San Luis Obispo. We'll cut across over to Pismo, and then we'll move into Cambria. We'll probably get there at about, I don't know, 4 o'clock. And I think we should show uh, Lauren and Alyssa our hotel at Knitwood Ridge. What do you think? For sure, for sure. Yeah. Well, I would say uh, you guys sit back, enjoy the scenery, and... Uh, We'll see you down the road. Later. like 30 miles from Los Alamos and we are in Avila Beach. I'm going to take the daughters up to the pier, maybe get a nice coffee or something like that, an ice cream, who knows what. But this is going to be a beautiful day when we get down here and can't wait to see it. Yeah, you know, and it, I'm glad we're showing them because the ocean is going to be nice and blue. It'll be a, a little bit of a, a change of pace from the farmlands to the ocean and that's what's beautiful about going on these kind of rides because the scenery changes all the way through. The wives might be mad at us because we took them up a way that we've never gone before so we went up the 135 to the 1. Right. Which was kind of a nice ride through there and we would have come all the way up into the bottom of Pismo but there was a bridge out and uh, we had to detour out back out to the 101. So as soon as we turn left here on 1st Street I think we're on the beach zone. We're close because we'll hang a right and then we'll be right on the pier, the front of the pier where well, there's a motorcycle parking. We'll pull in there and go get us a little bit of a snack or a, I don't know what we're going to get. What are we doing in here? Chocolate milk and a shot of vodka. <laughs> Getting some ice cream and coffee, just hanging out. Super hot outside, been a nice ride. That's all I got. What'd you get there, man? I got an iced coffee. Uh, it's like 80 degrees and we're right on the beach. You gotta refresh yourself. What are you getting? I'm gonna get an iced coffee, looking for some water, but I actually just checked and it was like 89. Oh. So, <laughs> what'd you get, Alyssa? Iced chai, vanilla chai, espresso. Oh. <laughs> what'd you get? Chai and decaf iced vanilla latte, half the sweetener. Decaf? Decaf. Boom. Sweet. Just like Laura and Teresa. <laughs> Look at Lauren and Alyssa. What are you doing? You're shopping. Of course. We gotta make sure there's nothing worth taking. <laughs> worth taking? <laughs> Buying. Sorry. <laughs> What's up, yeah. dude? Hey, not much. We just had our iced coffee. We're getting back on the bikes and we're gonna go to Nitwit Ridge and show them where we're staying tonight. Nitwit? You're a nitwit. <laughs> You, man. I can't wait to hear what they think of the place. <laughs> You're gonna love it. Well, we just got off the one headed into Cambria. This is the back way into downtown. So beautiful through here with all the greenery. It's amazing. Yeah, it sure is. And what, it's kind of a nice chill going on here. This is awesome. Look at that schoolhouse. 1881. Up the hill to Nitwit Ridge, it's kind of steep and it's an old house. And do you know that it's uh, permanently closed now? Just an eclectic house. Guy was grabbing a construction remnants from the Hearst Castle and building this thing so 
pretty interesting. And there's uh, Lynn's on the right here. That's our favorite breakfast place in town. So that's right. Lynn's restaurant. Let's get up to Nitwit Ridge and then we'll work our way back down to the hotel. Sounds like a plan. Yo. So we've been here a number of times. We brought the wives up here a number of times and we thought we'd tease the girls and say this is the hotel tonight. It's called Nitwit Ridge. Uh, there used to be stuff here that you could read on it and talk about what the place was, but in short, there was a guy that started taking uh, lumber and construction materials from Hearst Castle and all over the town and came up here and started building this little residence. And if you look at it, it's very eclectic. It's got a bunch of stuff. We've been here a lot of times and the girls didn't fall for it. No, but uh, Laura and Teresa, were, when we were down at the gas station, they talked to the lady in the, inside the gas station. She said, have you been to Nitwit Ridge? So that's how we found it. Well, so. next stop is our hotel, Fogcatcher. I think today deserves a toast. He doesn't I think like so. It. Cheers. What are we toasting to? Cheers. Cheers. A great ride. How about life. taking our daughters on our first road trip? <laughs> yes. Woo. Well done. Let me see that thing. What are we drinking? Oh, I have a mojito. Woo. I have a mule. Uh, Justin uh, Cab. Oh, wow. Bloody Mary, man. I have a Tito's tonic with a floater of lime, and could you I ask lied. my daughter again? It's actually a mule. <laughs> it's a mule. I got a nice though. Jameson. A nice Michelob. Jameson. So this is really actually kind of cool. I mean, because we all hang out. Uh, Laura and Teresa are on trips with us a lot. Uh, we hang out with Lance. We, we're always talking about Justin. We see Justin, firefighter. We're with our daughters. And actually, this is like actually really cool because they're really badass ladies with a lot of stuff going on. And, and it's really cool to see them talking and relating to each other. I'm learning a lot this trip, so I think this is really great. Oh, what are we eating? Uh, fish tacos. Bonita. I got me a nice sirloin steak right here. A cup of chowder and a dinner salad, and I'm gonna tear into some of that uh, <laughs> what she's got. I got a barbecue pork slob. We just had a great day. <laughs> <laughs> great dinner. Go. We yes. did. Go, but no, that's in there. <laughs> that's awesome. We so, did hey. have a great day. We're <laughs> sitting here in the fog catcher inn. Just had a wonderful dinner. Uh, they made us share because they couldn't afford for us to each get our own meal. <laughs> this is true. We shared, didn't we? Yep. Hey, Laura and Teresa, we miss you, but you know what? These girls kind of rock, so... <laughs> exactly. So, hey, look, again, great day. Cruised up, saw Keith Sarloose, uh, went to Avila Beach. You saw all that. Tomorrow, it's going to be just kind of a relaxing day. Yeah. We're going to go up to Hearst Castle, which is only about 10 miles from here. Uh, we're going to take them up to the Sea Lion Beach right and these big elephant seals that'll be great and then the road is closed up a bit but we're going to try to head up north and get up as far as we can just to show you guys the coastline because it's absolutely a spectacular ride uh that you're in, you're in for tomorrow hey lynn's for breakfast hearst castle seals another great dinner i mean it's going to be a full day but hey subscribe to the youtube channel tell your friends to do it because if you don't tell your friends I don't know, man. So I think I just said all those things. And Did you, you say that? Them I don't. Like, no, I didn't hear that. Yeah. No, she no, didn't hear that. I didn't hear it. <laughs> sea no. lions, Hearst Castle. Oh yeah. Yeah, maybe you did. No. Oh, well, but hey, subscribe. Hit the like button if you know me. Subscribe. <laughs> Only if you know her. <laughs> Have a good night.